Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how you can have access to a massive library of free motions from Mixmo.com under the Adobe Creative Cloud license. Now keep in mind that you do need to have that Creative Cloud license, uh, or ID rather, in order to access all these animations. You can get that I think for as low as $9.99 just by purchasing uh, you know, Photoshop on a monthly license. And uh, you know you have access to these this massive library of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of really high quality motions. Um, you know, if, if you're an Adobe user already, this is excellent for you. Um, iClone is a way that you can really maximize the use, uh, maximize the value of those animations and, you know, import them and integrate them into your own storytelling process. Uh, you know, you can modify and blend the motions as well in iClone. You can export to other 3D tools, you know, make your own CG animated videos as well. Just, you know, maximize the value because iClone is an excellent tool uh, to accomplish that. Now let's hop right into it here. If we, if we go to the Mixamo website, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're logged in. You can see I'm logged in at the top right there. And then just go ahead and select Browse Animations. And you can see under Featured right here, we have a whole ton of uh, you know featured packs. And if you go to the Animations uh, section over here, you can see just how many motions you'll have access to. Hundreds and hundreds of motions. There's 52 pages of this stuff. So, you know, you can see some really high quality stuff here. Now, in this tutorial, we're just going to go through the simple process of basically downloading these motions and then converting them in 3D Exchange. It's all automatically done, actually. And then applying them to a few motions in our, a few characters, rather, in iClone, which are these characters right here. Now, the cool thing about iClone is you can apply these motions to any character, no matter where they come from. This one in the middle is a Daz Genesis 3 character. The one on the left is a uh, character from our developer, Maxim. It's a non-standard character for, you know, uh, game usage or low poly usage and everything like that. Kind of a weird looking uh, mutant fighter character. And on the right, we have a character that was uh, generated using our own character creator software uh, from our developer, Tokamotion, and modified in other tools. And we can apply, you know, the same animations to all these characters. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So let's go back into Mixamo first here. And uh, the way you can download a motion is quite easy. Just go over here to, uh, you know, whatever motion you want. Um, there's tons and tons of stuff. Uh, you can explore them on your own time. I'm going to choose this catwalk right here because we're going to apply this to our Daz Genesis 3 character. Now you can see right now that we have this uh, zombie cop um, character uh, doing the uh, sassy looking catwalk. And you can modify all these values right here to, uh, you know, to adjust that. Now, obviously, we wouldn't want to use this character, um, you know, for this. Uh, I mean, you could if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to go up here and uh, change the character. We're going to select Change Character, and I'm going to choose the default beta character. Now, this character here, you know, is the general, uh, the default character that it will uh, default to. Now, you can export this character along with the actual skin, the, the blue mesh of the character as well. Now, keep in mind that when we get to 3D Exchange and we import this motion, if you want to have the motion automatically detect a Mixamo rig, you'll have to export using this beta character. So I'll remind you of that in just a moment when we actually get to that point. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, view download it first. It'll come up to this uh, you know same uh, window right here where we're uh, watching the sassy walk and everything. More like a little prance. I'm not even sure if that's a catwalk. Um, anyway, okay, so we have it right here. All you want to do, make sure you have a character selected as beta character and go to queue download. Now here you can uh, export to uh, FBX. I'm going to export with skin in this case. Uh, frames per second can remain at 30 and keyframe reduction none. Let's go ahead and queue the download. Now you can see I've already downloaded or I've already set up a couple of motions here. This mutant roaring and this robot hip hop dance here. And what I want to do is just uh, download all these motions right here. So we'll just click download, download, download. All right, so we have three FBX motions. I can go into the download folder and you'll be able to see them right here. So what I'll do first is I'm going to click and drag our first animation, this catwalk underscore walk dot FBX, right into 3D Exchange. Okay. Now keep in mind that you need to have 3D Exchange 6.52 in order for this to work because 6.52 contains a, a preset, automatic preset for detecting Mixamo uh, beta character rig. So let's go ahead and press OK on this. And what's going to happen is once it loads in, it's going to auto detect. You can see uh, Mixamo beta character, bone structure and face mapping auto detected. So we've done this so it's easier for you to import in those Mixamo motions. Uh, do you want to convert it to a non-standard character? Yes. All right. So basically, um, if you have the beta character selected when you export, it's going to automatically do it like this. And you can go ahead and into your animations uh, motion library here and just preview the animation. And you can see, boom, there is our uh, beta character prancing about or uh, catwalking about. 
whatever you want to call it. All right. And you can see it's also in the perform editor right here. Now, the easiest way to get it into iClone is, you know, simply uh, make sure that you have the character you want selected in iClone. In this case, we'll select our uh, female Daz character and then go back into 3D Exchange. There we go. And you want to select apply to iClone. And what that's going to do is that's going to apply that animation to our character in iClone. You can see right here, if we play back, there is our uh, beautiful Daz Genesis 3 character doing her uh, catwalk and spin and, uh, you know, everything else there, just uh, prancing along. So it's really that easy uh, because we have that automatic detection in 3D Exchange 6.52. That's how easy it is to import in those animations. So let's try a couple more examples here for these other two characters. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just go to File, New, and uh, we don't need to export this other stuff. You can also go up to File, Open here. Uh, I'm in my Downloads folder already. I'm going to down, uh, load in this Robot Hip Hop Dance here and press OK. And it'll do the same thing. It'll automatically detect because I've exported this uh, with the beta character, uh, the bone structure and face mapping. So we'll just press Yes here. And then again, you can do the same thing. The T-Pose is already set and everything. Just preview it. And you can see beta character, you know, hanging out and uh, doing his thing, uh, doing his robot uh, dance right there. Now, if you want to apply this again to iClone, what I can do is actually in iClone, if I deselect my character and I go over here to Mixamo and I select up here, apply to iClone with my character selected, it's going to load that character in iClone. You can see right here, we've now... Uh, loaded in the mesh and everything, but there's no animation because we've only applied the character. Let's get him out of the way of our uh, our female's catwalk there. We'll just put him over here for now. So uh, actually, we'll put him up beside this uh, little dude over here. So if you want to apply that animation to this character or this character, what we can do is just go over here to, uh, again, same thing, and just select Apply to iClone. And it will load that animation onto our uh, beta character in uh, iClone right here. If we just move him over a little bit, you can see he'll do his uh, his dance right there. Pretty cool. It's kind of getting in the way of the little kid there, but uh, we can just uh, go ahead and stop that. And uh, you know we can save this character if we want by going into uh, avatars here, um, characters, avatars, custom, and you know pressing the plus button and saving him as uh, beta. There we go, beta. And then we can select our little dude over here. We can just delete beta for now. We don't really need him. We'll keep it as uh, our trio right here. Uh, we Let's select the little kid here, and let's go over into 3D Exchange and apply that same animation to him. So, uh, whoops, uh, apply to iClone right here. And if we head over into iClone, there's our uh, little kid doing the exact same uh, cool-looking robot dance there. All right, so he's got some moves apparently. All right, so that's really how easy it is. Let's try one final example. And for this final example, we're going to talk about something a little bit different. This final example, I exported without the skin. Uh, okay, so if you can recall, there was an option to export with skin. In this mutant roaring example, uh, I exported without skin. So it's going to just only show up a bone. Now, we still did use the beta character. Um, so we're going to talk about not using the beta character, using the other uh, character meshes in our second part of this tutorial. All right, so it's going to basically just show a, a quick, you know, uh, bone right here. We don't have any mesh, any skin on this bone, but the animation data is still there. You can just see the, the roar, uh, just like that, okay? So it's just a kind of a, not as threatening when a bone is doing it, but uh, we'll see it on our mutant fighter pretty soon here. So if we want to go over into uh, iClone here, make sure we select the right character, and then we can just go over here and, again, apply to iClone. And go over into iClone here and just uh, play that back. And you can see the threatening roar right there. And each of our characters really just doing their own thing here. Catwalking, dancing, and uh, the dude on the left is a bit uh, a bit angrier there. All right, so if you want to save any of these motions, it's actually really quite simple. Um, the easiest way to do that is once you're in uh, 3D Exchange here, you don't need to uh, let's just go up here to uh, iClone export. And with any character, it doesn't matter if you have skin or not, skin or bones or anything like that. As long as you have export geometry deselected, it's only going to export the animation. Okay? So we want to make sure the export animation is selected. You know, you can name your uh, file whatever you want here. You can see it's named uh, mutantroaringmixmo.com. 
And let's just save it to our default iClone custom motion folder, okay? And I'll show you where that is in just a moment. So we're going to export uh, iMotion here. We can just call it, uh, save it a separate folder, Mutant Roaring. Let's go ahead and press OK. And I've already saved it there previously, so I'm just going to replace it. OK, and there we go. And we can go over into iClone now. And if we go to our Animations tab, Custom, and we go to Motions, you can see there's Mutant Roaring, the folder, and our Mutant Roaring uh, Motion. So if we wanted to apply that to another character, simply click and drag it onto like this kid, for example. You can see he'll do his uh, threatening roar, trying to imitate his bigger, uglier, older brother there on the left. All right, so that's how really how easy it is to import these Mixima motions with the beta character uh, uh, rig and uh, automatically convert them in 3D Exchange and apply them to any character in iClone, all right? So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot. Make sure you check out our other tutorial, Mixima tutorial, on how to import... Uh, with the other character rigs that uh, don't have the automatic detection like the uh, beta character. And also check out our forums at forum.realusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.